Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Spin Tires. Um, so today, I'm going to be playing Spin Tires. I'm going to be playing on the hill map. I've played a bit of Spin Tires. Um, quite a bit of Spin Tires. Uh, not much since they've done quite a bit of up, quite a few updates to it and hopefully improved it a bit. Uh, it's a pretty rough game, but it's a lot of fun. So without any further crap, let's get into it. I'm going to be doing it on hardcore mode, which means all of these things here. It, it just makes it harder. Um, yeah, stuff. All right, start a game. All right, here we are in spin tires. The hill, we get uh, one, one, one truck. Yes, yes, one truck. Ooh. Ooh. Do not enter. Um, okay, that's new. Used to just be invisible walls in the game. And now they have do not enter signs. Um, it's kind of really ugly, actually. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at... Uh, I know how to play spin tire. Go, go away. Uh, game. Alright. Now. <laughs> oh, and, and this is backwards. So let's do it this way, then. Alright. Um, the game is all confused. Anyways, this ooh, is probably a, this is a terrible UI. This is just bad. The game itself is really fun. So so just survive or plow through. No plow. That that's horrible. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyways, um, the UI is just it's poorly done. But the game. The gameplay is wonderful. The game as a whole is sort of mediocre because of the poor UI design, because of a couple poor game mechanics. It, it, it needs some improvement. Um, I do think the team is still working on it, but I'm not sure. Off the top of my head, I don't really follow their development very closely, because I don't think it'll become much more than this, really. I still think it's worth it. Um, so I'm actually going to... Uninstall the frontal exhaust because I usually find that the exhaust, the frontal exhaust here, just like smashes on the ground and damages your truck, and it gives you no benefit. It's just cosmetics. Um, <laughs> so moving on, uh, th th it's a truck. This is the C4320. It's a six-wheeled Russian behemoth of a truck, and well, let's just get going. I'm going to keep this utility at the uh, parking brake. I'm going to keep this utility attachment because that allows me to repair trucks. And, well, I mean, I don't know. Repairing trucks is. Uh, I'm probably going to crash. Just leave it at that. Um, you do discover more trucks around the map. And oftentimes they're broken or need fuel. So bringing along a fuel cistern might also be a good idea. Um, look down here in the bottom left hand corner. It has shows your diff locks and your all wheels um, whether they're on or off. And basically it's saying oh, all wheel drive or rather in this truck I would call it six wheel drive or your diff lock which locks the differentials. If you don't really know what a differential is it's the bit uh, I'm not going to bother trying to explain that. <laughs> that is just... Uh, it, it makes you go better through mud and stuff. Yes, that's that's the proper explanation. So anyways, um... Uh, what's... Yeah, I can go this way. Uh, this is a road. I have played this map before, so I sort of know what to expect. But it has changed, I do believe. Oh, we're kind of really far away. All right. Um, oh, actually, before I go anywhere else, I'm going to go ahead and check my map. All right, this is the map. The point of this game, for those of you that don't know or haven't seen this game before, is to get lumber from a lumber yard to an objective. That sounds easy. That's the only thing you have to do in this game to win. 
that's not as easy as it sounds. Anyways, um, hmm. First thing is, I want to get rid of these cloaking things because I want more trucks, and these cloaking things are hiding trucks and roads, and I need the ability to use the map. So I'm just gonna drive down this road for a bit and see where it takes me. I think it takes me to the objective. So, well, we'll see. All right, and this is the the gear shifter here. I'm just gonna shift back into boop. Don't do that. Okay, so the gear shift in this game is kind of uh, it's not not the best way to do a gear shifter. Right now I'm in gear one plus, and as you can see in the bottom left here, where it says where my parking brake and whatnot is. Um, essentially, it's gear two, as far as I can tell. Um, but I'm locked into gear two. This one right here is gear one. Down here, obviously, is reverse. Or not, maybe not obviously, but that's reverse. Gear one, gear two, one plus, whatever, it's two. And this is automatic. Um, when you're in hardcore mode, if you have the truck in automatic mode, you cannot use your diff lock. So use all-wheel drive, but you can't use diff lock. Um, so... On road here, you're going to see me using automatic because speed, speed, power. And off road, you're going to see me using pretty much first gear almost exclusively because, well, this game is slow going. Whee! Wow, drifting. Oh, God, drifting in a truck. Oh, my. Um, yeah. So, I haven't showed you the most impressive thing about this game. Oh, ow, crash into the ground. That's the most impressive thing about this game. Oop, your ability to crash into the ground. Um, the most impressive thing about this game, if you've never seen it, is the mud. That's why this game exists. Oh, I don't want tip blocks. Rather, oh yeah. Anyways, um, the most impressive thing about this game is the mud. And... It is an impressive thing indeed. So let's find some mud. As you can see, it reveals a tiny little strip along where you drive. Oop. Oh, this camera, this map's a little difficult to control. Um, hmm, I think I will try to get onto this road. And then go along here and try to make my way to that cloaking point. Wish me luck. Oh, those are some rocks. Oh, that's fine. We're in a big truck. We can do rocks, right? Yeah, yeah, we can do rocks. So anyways, you can see that big circle right there is where I clicked one of my waypoints. Up here in the upper left, I've got a compass, and that big red arrow on my compass is the direction to the next waypoint. Um, and the distance, too, said... Oh, gosh, I sunk. Um... Come on, truck. Come on. I wasn't watching, and I sunk it. Wow, that that's well and truly sunken. Oh. Oh, I don't want to restart this map already. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it! Maybe. Maybe. Truck. 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 You're sinking. No! Okay. This is fine. We're fine, right? Right, keep close to the edge. Maybe if I get it well and truly stuck, I can use my winch. Oh, 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 I'm out, okay. Um, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, the big red arrow on my compass points to the next waypoint, as you probably already figured out, and I'm just babbling. So, as you can see, well, I don't know if you saw there, because I was underwater the whole time. Oh, gosh. I am just getting this thing stuck. The mud deforms. It gets stuck to your tires. It it gets all over the front of your truck, and the water washes it off. And look at the mud. Mud. Um. Okay. That is literally all I have to say about that. 
hopefully I will stumble across another truck while I'm doing this. I don't know that there are any out here, but hopefully, because this truck is already at half fuel. I'm going to try going down there. Um, hopefully this doesn't end badly. Also, these these sticks, these are new to me. Those these weren't here when I was playing spin tires last time. But yes. Anyways, also th this is new, and I I hate this icon floating over my truck whenever I move my mouse. It just looks so dumb. But they added this. Yay! Everyone was begging for a first-person view, and this is what the developers gave them. Uh, kudos to the developers for actually doing something, instead of just going, well, you can do it. But this is not exactly... Ooh, I see a black tornado of doom. Um, this is not exactly a first-person view. Also, I don't know how to get out of it. Uh, oh, there we go. That's how you get out of it. All right. So this is a black, swirling, cloaky tornado of cloakingness. Yes, this is exactly what it is. It also looks like a trap. I'm going to very gingerly nose in here. I don't want to sink my truck in what looks like a fairly shallow puddle, but... Oh no, it's just sinking. All right, all right, all right. back out of here. Come on. Come on, truck. Oh, that was a trap. It's always a trap. Oh. Okay, okay. Can I... Yes, I can winch. There we go. Alright, we have rescued the truck. It was not a big deal. Let's check our map. Alright, so as you can see, rather frustratingly, when you unlock a cloaking field, it doesn't unlock a circle, it unlocks that circle, and these circles stay. Oh boy. Yeah, so this is a very long and tedious process, and I have only like half my fuel left. So I think I'm going to try to make my way over to this fuel depot over here, I'm like pointing at my screen. You guys can see me pointing, right? Um, I don't... This road doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Like it looks like it just kind of disappears into... Whoa, whoa, wrong button. Into this mess. Um, oh, whoa, look at that. Oh, these maps are 3D. Oh, that's so cool. The big hill. Um, I mean, the, the, I guess this game... I mean, this map is called The Hill, so... Th yeah, but I mean... The, the map, it's so cool. Anyways. Uh, I kind of feel like trying to get to this fuel depot just for the sake of fuel. And I think I'm going to go ahead and backtrack the way I came. Um... Maybe I'll try and go through that? I don't know what that is. Dark green. So it almost looks like I can get through here? Maybe? And that looks like a road. And this looks like a road. And maybe I can get through all that to this big road? Maybe? This might be a really bad idea. Let's just start with that. And see what happens. So, yeah, that doesn't look like a good idea. I'm going to go for it. This might... Oh. Tree behind me. Oh, there's a tree in front of me. Oh, gosh. This is how to pass your driver's test, guys. Just crash into things. It's the parallel parking test. Make room. Oop. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, what is going on here? 
Oh, 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 five damage. That's fine. All right, going up this hill. Oh, this, I'm tipping. Don't fall over. I'm falling over. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Falling over. And I'm sinking. And I'm stuck. Well, I already see where this is going. Let's try to go up. Going up. Winch. All right. Um, so this is what dark green on the map meant. Lots and lots of trees that you will not be able to fit through because you're a gigantic truck. Let's try this map, actually. Having this view. It can actually help. Oh, that actually kind of does help. I can see. I can see clearly now that I'm on the truck. Oh, that's so much nicer. Um, that was not a road that I saw on the map. That was a creek. That that right there is a creek. Can I go over these trees without? Oh gosh! Not falling over. Okay, 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 okay. Hold your horses now. Nobody breathe. Nobody speak. This is a shallow creek. Okay. Whew. All right. We're on the water highway. Highway of water. This is... Oh, getting stuck. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, definitely not a good idea. I'm sinking in the... Sinking in the creek. Um, I've sunken in... I'm sunken in the creek. This is the story of this game. This is the story of my life. I make a couple inches of progress, and then I sink in some mud. We all need winches. Winches get you out of, out of ruts, right? our way through here I'm quite lost again is this a place that I can go this doesn't look like a place I can go um, that kind of looks like a place I can drive through oh no okay how how do I do um, right. I have no clue how I do. How do I, how do I go through that? I mean, what if I went back down the creek here to this lake and sort of skirt around the edge and came up? That may be a terrible idea. Is there any way through here? At all? Is that doable anywhere? It just looks solid. I have like no fuel left. Well, it would appear that we failed before we begun. But I will not go quietly into the night or something to that effect or to that effect. Mass effect? Wait, what? Oh, that creek was deep. Oh, oh, I already sunk. Uh, I'm sinking sitting here. Go! Go! Full speed ahead. Try to keep a tire on dry... Oh, don't try to keep a tire on dry land. Tipping. Tipping. Sinking. Sink oh, oh, well, I ruined everything. That would be really cold on your... Yeah, I'm not going there. Um, anyways... Is this what Russia's like? Is, is this just Russia? I mean, games would have us believe that this is Russia. Yes?
All right, none of that problem. Let's go get stuck in another problem. By problem, I mean mud. And by mud, I mean, wow, this is a really shallow pond. I thought it looked like a lake on the map. <laughs> oh, I have no clue what I'm doing here. And I'm out of fuel. And everyone probably left. Come on. Come on. No, don't, don't get stuck, please. Go up. Go up the hill. Yes, yes, maybe? This all seems like a bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. That actually looks like a road. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. About time. Jesus. All right. Oh, don't run out of fuel now, truck. Oh, just, I've got... I'm using 33 liters of fuel per minute. And I've got... I mean, I've got 33 liters of fuel. I'm using 17, 18, 17, 14... Something like that and per minute. Where am I? Oh! 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 How many more times can I say, oh? Um, let's go, yeah, let's go here. Let's go, like, down here to here, down to there, and somehow fuel. Please. Please work. Oh, if I run out of fuel before I get there, I'm going to be sorely upset. Oh, come on. Um, for those of you that don't know, using your... Whoa! That was a lot of mud effect there. Oh my. Oh my word. I am falling over. Using your diff locks and your all-wheel drive uses more fuel. I'm not sure if speed is less efficient. Hmm. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. It probably is. I can't see anything. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I thought this was dumb at first, but this is kind of nice. I feel stuck. I am quite stuck. Alright, this... Oh, that's a large rock. Oh. Well, this is not a good path. This is not safe. It was covered in trees and lies and deceit, some mud and some rocks. And oh my gosh, am I going to fall? I'm pushing a tree in front of my truck. I'm going to fall off a cliff here. I mean, like, where, where are we going? Is there fuel down here somewhere? Please? Fuel. I need fuel. The difference in the sound effect here is definitely interesting. I like it. Whoa, whoa, okay, that's... weird. Okay, and then somehow fuel. I think that was my description of how to get from here to fuel. That looks like a road right there. I'm gonna try to squeeze through that gap. Oh no. Truck. This thing has all of no fuel left. Oh, please. Oh, I can see the... Oh no. I can see the fuel. I have two liters of fuel left. The cunning plan. Don't use... Don't press on the gas. Just winch. Yes. We have one liter of fuel left. Come on. Why is it stuck? What's, what's it stuck on? Is it stuck on that tree? Come on. Yes. 
Tap the gas. Tap the gas. Tap it. Tap the gas. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I have enough fuel to get from here to there. Oh yes, let's pull the truck like this. Come on. Alright, alright. This just <laughs> might work. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is totally working. I have one liter of fuel. I could probably drive like four feet before it runs out. And if I have no fuel, I can't use my winch. I don't think. Um, can I winch to anywhere here? No, I'm going to use the trick, the cheeky little trick of doing this. All right. Turn left and winch the back to that tree. All right, go ahead and drive into the fuel. I have no fuel. And now I have fuel. <laughs> oh, it's nighttime. I should have turned on my headlights. Except this game has the weird thing of, huh, it's very dark. No, it's not. I can see. Now I can't. Oh, oh man. Well, that's gonna that's gonna do it for today's episode of Spin Tires. I'm going to go ahead and continue playing this map and make more videos. So if you want to see the rest of this, if you enjoyed this, please like or subscribe if you would like to. And that's all. Thanks. Bye-bye. I make a couple inches of progress, and then I sink in some mud.